Selamat siang semuanya Terima kasih atas kesempatan yang diberikan kepada saya pada hari ini e, Cukup panjang perjalanan saya hingga sampai berdiri di tempat ini Terima kasih karena sebelumnya Saya mencoba mendaftar online tetapi tidak bisa Kemudian pagi hari ini saya memberanikan diri untuk datang langsung ke tempat ini tanpa mendaftar Dan saya sampai saat ini tidak bisa percaya bahwa saya bisa berdiri dan duduk di depan yang jaraknya sangat dekat dengan Pak Zakir um, Saya juga sangat senang bisa berhadapan langsung Uh, jika boleh, saya akan uh, menyampaikan nama saya Emi. Saya 42 tahun, mempunyai seorang putri 8 tahun, dan saya menikah. Saya Katolik, uh, pernikahan saya sudah 17 tahun. Namun beberapa bulan ini, saya sekitar 4 bulan uh, ingin lebih mengenal tentang Islam kemudian ada satu teman yang mendampingi saya dengan intensif untuk lebih mengenal tentang Islam dan Alhamdulillah dua bulan ini saya melakukan sholat dan saya tidak tahu apakah itu saya sudah dapat dikatakan sebagai seorang muslim karena saya belum mengucapkan syahadat di depan orang selain saya melakukan pada saat saya sholat apakah itu dibenarkan secara Islam apakah saya sudah melanggar aturan-aturan yang sudah ditetapkan oleh Islam saya percaya eh, tidak ada Tuhan selain Allah dan Muhammad adalah utusan Allah Namun saya uh, menunggu waktu yang tepat untuk saya bisa menyatakan syahadat Terlebih di depan keluarga dekat saya yang uh, kebetulan kakak kandung saya seorang haja Dan saya ingin sekali menyatakan syahadat uh, di depan kakak saya Yang saya tanyakan tadi adalah apakah yang telah saya lakukan dua bulan ini dibenarkan Terima kasih Okay, uh, I would like to translate in English, Dr. Zakir. Um, she is interested in Islam, and for the two months, uh, she has a friend, and a friend uh, helped her to understand more about Islam. And during the two months, she has been doing the shalat prayer. Uh, but she has never said uh, shahadat before, and she believed that uh, there is no God but Allah, and Rasulullah Muhammad is uh, the messenger of Allah. Do you think that what she has done doing salat is wrong? If I understood the translation of the question, I don't understand bahasa, but I understood one thing which you didn't translate. She said terima kasih means thank you. That it didn't translate. He didn't translate that. She said twice or thrice, terima kasih. He didn't translate. Anyway, I don't blame him. He's just summarizing it. Uh, later on, I realized that there is a translation going on underneath. The question posed by the sister is that uh, she has been practicing, Islam. I mean, she's a, she's a Christian, and she's been practicing Islam for the past two months. She learned about Islam, and she offered salah and the question if i'm not mistaken that will the salah be accepted is that the question brother will the salah be accepted but the reply is that sister to accept islam you don't have to declare even if you believe in your heart you become a muslim declaring is not compulsory you are saying you didn't declare but you already declared you already said i believe in one allah and i believe prophet muhammad is the messenger so you don't say you declare but you already declared it alhamdulillah though 
for any human being only if he or she believes that there's one Allah, one God, doesn't believe in idol worship, doesn't believe that Jesus is God, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, you enter the fold of Islam. After entering the fold of Islam, if you offer Salah, whether you offer perfectly or not, because you are a beginner, Inshallah, Allah will accept your complete Salah. Even you may not be able to pronounce in Arabic, only if you do the actions initially, Allah will accept it. As time goes on, you may memorize the minimum Arabic required, Surah Fatiha, maybe Surah Ikhlas, Allah Akbar, few things. But till the time you do that, whatever you do, because you are a new person accepting Islam, your Salah is accepted. Not only is your Salah accepted, the day you believe in your heart, not declare, you believe in your heart, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, all your previous sins will be washed away. All. 100%. And the bigger your sin was, the more bad you used to do before accepting Islam, the higher will be your reward after you accept Islam. Means if you were a non-Muslim who used to drink alcohol, used to rob, not that I'm saying you used to, but bigger the sin you did, the moment you accept Islam, all that is converted into good deeds. All your good deeds will remain, even your bad deeds that you did will be converted into good deeds. And inshallah, person who accepts is as though he's newborn. All is sin forgiven, but the good thing is there. So I would like to appreciate sister that you like the religion of Islam. I would like to welcome you to the fold of Islam. And though you said it already, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. I'm from Balikpapan and I want to go there to uh, say Sahadat in front of my sister because uh, she is a Haja. You want to say Shahada in front of your sister because she is a Haji, Hajjan. Yes. That's good, mashallah. But the day you believed in it, you're already a Muslim. You can repeat the shahada one time, ten times, twenty times, no problem. You can repeat in front of your sister, in front of others, no problem. But the day you believe, you already become a Muslim sister. Because we do not know. You may meet your sister today, you may meet her tomorrow, you may meet her after a few days. We don't know how long we live, sister. So if you plan, I'm going to meet my sister after five days. I don't know whether I'm going to live for five days or not. So the day, the moment you realize and you believe in a heart, you become a Muslim sister. But if you want to repeat it in front of your sister, you're most welcome. You're most welcome to repeat in front of your sister. But the day you believe, you already become a Muslim. Hope that answers the question, sister. So all your sins have been forgiven. The salah you're offering in the past two months is accepted, sister. And if you want to say the Shahada, you can say in front of a sister, no problem. You're most welcome, sister. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. Most welcome.